everybody, Flimsy Lunch Tree here with a new video, Friday video for you here today. And I decided after just sharing my most recent video, uh, kind of one year review, that I wanted to set some time aside and talk about uh, the future of uh, the YouTube channel. Now I've been doing uh, or playing World of Warships for just over a year now. Uh, but when it comes to doing the YouTube videos, I've been doing them for, I think I'm in the seventh week um, of doing these videos. So I wanted to discuss a few future things uh, that I'm going to be working on um, to better improve the channel. Uh, so first off, I just want to say thank you uh, to those who have subscribed, um, for those of you watching the videos, uh, for interacting and uh, the comments when I you know, shared this on a uh, Facebook group or in Discord, um, the feedback that I've gotten from players has, has really helped uh, both friends and clanmates on how to better improve the channel, but also some new fresh ideas uh, when it comes to um, future content, if you will. So, yeah, so thank you for the feedback. So, in talking about the feedback, um, I've received positive feedback for. Uh, players appreciating uh, the battle analysis of just kind of going through and breaking down the decisions of uh, to do what I do in the course of a battle, uh, whether that's in destroyer, cruiser, or battleship, and uh, not so much carrier. We haven't really focused on uh, those yet. Um, so that's been something that's been well received so far, and I hope to continue to expand on that more. Um, and maybe get, get more specific at times, uh, depending on battle. Uh, but also, I've received more of the critiques or negatives is, first off, has been the audio uh, with the microphone. Um, so the setup I have now, uh, the recording device, is a, a Razer Nari uh, wireless headset. And I know it's not ideal, but it was something that I at least wanted to start off with and uh, launching with the YouTube channel. Um, I was more interested to see what would come after several weeks and kind of review and reflect. And of course the audio uh, needs improvement. Um, I had a, uh, what is it called? An M-Audio uh, box, uh, a Fast Track Pro uh, that I had <laughs> from a while back. Um, and I was planning to use it with, the, I have a good microphone and XLR cables and so forth. Uh, to be able to connect into my PC, um, but the drivers for it uh, only go up to Windows 9, so it's not Windows 10 compatible. Um, so I kind of sent me back to the drawing board. Um, so uh, I recently just ordered, oh, actually yesterday, uh, a Phantom Power box for my uh, condenser microphone, um, and then also a 3.5 millimeter TRS uh, cable to XLR mail cable uh, so that I can connect it into the PC um, through the re uh, recording uh, 3.5 millimeter input that I have on my PC tower. So my hope is that will really help improve uh, the sound quality uh, when recording videos. So I'll be looking for that. I should be receiving it all by Tuesday of next week, Tuesday, Wednesday. So another thing I've also been looking at is the video editing software. Um, so I use in game, it came with the PC um, as like an Xbox game bar. So that's what I use as I'm, I'm talking now, uh, recording, battle play, and so forth, um, to just go over the replay. Or like in this example, we're just sitting idle in port uh, to discuss and share the battle analysis and topics and so on and so forth. Um, but then I would take that video and then this is, it's kind of, it's not an ideal setup right now. Um, and I would move it to a, how would you call, what would you call it? Yeah, just a, a portable hard drive. Yeah, that's how you call it. Um, and then I would move it to my laptop because on my laptop, I have um, this video audio editing software called uh, Wondershare, or also known as Filmora. And it's like, I can't, it's, I don't have a license like to be able to put on multiple, um, technological devices. Like I just bought a one time for this one device as long as your device works. And it's not ideal for this. Uh, I need a better quality, a more upgraded version where I can easier edit the audio, um, or edit the clips, um, insert 
you know, if at some point, like, do memes or zooming in on a different part of the video. Like, I just, I need that better video audio editing software. And I have experience with the, the audio part. Um, so actually, when I was in college, I did pursue uh, some of my degree focus was in music, uh, was it music media production. So I've used Pro Tools. I've used, oh goodness, I can't remember what the other one's called. It's on Mac. Hmm. <laughs> I'm spacing that one bad right now. So I am a guy who's totally who wants to have nice, clean audio. Um, but I just haven't been able to financially just pour out a lot of money all at once and getting things going. So I'm going to be looking into doing some research to find a better, better video editing software because the system I have now, you know, I record the video with the Xbox Game Bar uh, recording and then I put that into the portable hard drive and I have to disconnect it from the PC, connect it into my, um, my laptop and then I have to pull those files out of the laptop, put them into the uh, gaming folder on my laptop, um, upload those videos into the Wondershare Filmora, edit them, then export it, and I have to take those files and put the new files and put them back onto the portable drive, and then move it to the PC, um, then downloading them into my game folder um, in my gaming PC. Um, and so that, I just waste a lot of time in between just transferring it all just to get it onto the laptop and then having to turn around and put it back onto the, the desktop PC. So naturally that's not ideal, but I was just working with what I had for the time being. Um, and so a side note of that has been something I've been wanting to also address um, is my days slash my times for when I try to do uh, these YouTube recording videos. Um, with the coronavirus, it's made my work situation different between, you know, when I'm able to go to the office, when I'm not able to go in the office, and with everything starting back up where I am, um, is better with the coronavirus um, in a certain sense. So that, with the schedule constantly changing and getting used to a new schedule, it's actually made it harder. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and share, but I'm actually not in the US. Um, I'm actually in Norway. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why uh, I have the fjords as my ports. So I was in love when Wargaming decided to uh, put this in uh, as I moved over here just before the beginning of coronavirus for the work that I'm in. So being here in Norway, it's much, of course much safer with the coronavirus, but also still assimilating, adjusting to the culture, learning the language, so on and so forth. Um, so there's a lot of things competing for my time. So now what I've decided to do after restructuring my schedule a bit is that my Fridays, I actually have Fridays off, um, my afternoon time at least, between say one to 6 p.m. is just for me to sit down, be intentional uh, with recording, producing content um, in an intentional way that's not rushed um, it's easier for me to do like the battle analysis, but when it comes to topical items, um, I tend to, it almost seems like it comes off, uh, how do, what's the phrase? Flying by the seat of my pants? <laughs> is, that how you, is that what it's called? Um, I'm forgetting some English phrasings from the US now that I'm here in Norway. Um, so yeah, flying by the seat of your pants, I think that's how it's called. Um, so it just becomes unstructured. It's, it's easy for me to chase a rabbit, so on and so forth. <laughs> so the goal with setting Fridays aside, uh, these afternoons, and you know, it could be in a morning and afternoon thing, we'll just have to see. It's just that I can be intentional with the content that I'm producing, getting the new equipment up, um, taking the time to make sure I know what's happening with World of Worships, reading the developers' blogs, so on and so forth. So that I'm giving you guys the best attention possible um, and being intentional with producing these videos because um, someone asked me like am I doing these videos because I want to be a community contributor and honestly the answer is no I mean if I was approached about it like that'd be something I would definitely consider um, but I'm doing these videos primarily to want it to have fun um, but wanting to help the player base in World of Warships improve and get better and then to seeing where this channel would go if it would be something that would produce an income stream uh, besides just my job.
So those are kind of one of the main reasons that I'm wanting to do this YouTube channel. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. And then as far as types of videos that I'm looking to do um, in the future, and I need to write another one down because I just remembered something I forgot. But um, so I'm going to keep the focus will be kind of explaining the battle analysis and will that ever include players sending me um, like World of Warships file for me to watch and kind of talk through that we play? Yeah, I'd say that'd be, that'd be something definitely on the table. Um, I haven't openly talked about it or, you know, encouraged players of those of these videos to send those in, but that's something that I'd be willing to consider. For myself, I'm still trying to figure some things out with the YouTube channel and, you know, still newer to World of Warships, so I'm just trying to get my ducks in a row before really trying to step more into that area. Um, but I'm wanting to do a compilation video here and there, just funny moments or all oh, that was really cool. Um, you know, maybe it was a complete mess up moment. So look for those. And then there's also what I'm really, really, really excited for. Um, my uh, clan commander, uh, who goes by Doom Beagle, um, he suggested uh, an idea to me after he watched uh, Wednesday's video of the one you review and gave me some really great advice and critical feedback uh, for the YouTube channel. And he suggested this how-to series, and I'm not telling you guys what it is yet, because as far as I know, and I researched, I even was looking on around on YouTube before this, is that I've not seen any other players or community contributors, for that matter, um, do this type of how-to video series. It's not going to be a how-to Des Moines, how-to uh, Yamato, how-to Arizona, you know, Trento. It's not a how-to ship series. It's going to be something that's different. Um, now, Wargaming did sort of touch on it like four years ago, um, but the games have moved on quite drastically in those four years uh, since them doing some of these videos. And also, it, how I'm wanting to present this content and information in the videos as I think it'd be much more benefit um, that's going to touch on things that Wargaming didn't in some of these videos that they did on this. Uh, so that's something I'm really excited about. It's actually going to take a bit of time in investing into um, and building off of. Uh, so I would think within a month you'll start seeing this new uh, how-to series. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, another thing I've been wanting to do is a history uh, video series. So when I was first considering doing World of Warships uh, and then making a YouTube channel, uh, was I was asking players, you know, what would you like to see um, being produced on YouTube content by World of Warship players um, that you just really like? And one of the main topics that kept coming back up was the history of the ships. And so that's something I was like, oh, you know, I, I can get behind that. Now, granted, since this game has come out, there has been more um, historical videos like, you know, you have those very popular ships like Bismarck, um, the Iowa, uh, the Amato, um, and so on and so forth, but also the, the unique history more behind the ships. Now, I think where the warships does like a dry dock, so like they've talked about uh, the Massachusetts, uh, so on and so forth, uh, USS Alabama, um, and I'm mostly referencing US ships because those are the ships that I really like to play the most, as you can see. Um, but but also talking more about the, the cool historical facts. So like even for myself, I'm actually doing research on um, warships that were sunk uh, here around Norway and off the coast. And I'm finding some really neat history. Uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago they actually uh, publicly announced uh, that there was a, a German uh, cruiser from World War II that was sunk just off the coast of Kristensand. Um, so that's a really neat historical thing. Um, there's uh, a U-boat that was sunk off the coast of Bergen that has a really cool history um, that was a top secret mission ordered by Hitler, but also the history of that submarine is still actually presently ongoing, uh, even though it's still at the bottom uh, of the ocean off the coast of Bergen. So those type of things, you know, the battleship Nelson. Um, I love playing the Nelson. Um, and it wasn't until I was doing some research on that ship recently that I found out that that ship actually had um, torpedoes. And I think 
uh, they had two Nelson class battleships. They had the HMS Nelson and the HMS Rodney. And I believe they said that the Rodney also torpedoed the Bismarck. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm just going off my memory here of that. So I'm going to do more of those type of history videos. Uh, Jingles had done some and a lot of players loved that. I mean, I wish he would do more uh, as he's, he's not doing too much on that anymore, but that's something that I want to bring in. Not just only talking about the service career of the ship, uh, but also like those those unique stories uh, behind the ships and so forth. So uh, that's something we're looking to do, but also um, division up with different players and like interview them. Um, so this it could be some in my clan, it could be some uh, that I talk with in a Discord group on certain topics within World of Warships, whether that's the game mechanics itself, if it's playing a certain ship, um, you know, more of a loose idea. I mean, I think that could expand more, but I'm not entirely sure what that looks like. Uh, that was another idea that was suggested by uh, my clan leader, Doom Beagle, so giving credit where credit is due. So I'm excited about the future of the YouTube channel um, and having my structure more scheduled um, to build a more, more intentionally produce these videos on Fridays, um, but then also having better equipment between being able to use a better microphone, uh, eventually finding some great new video editing uh, and audio editing software that I can just have downloaded on one of my hard drives on my gaming PC so I'm not having to constantly transfer files to my laptop, transfer them back into uh, from my laptop into the PC. So just trying to make things more easier, but also um, a better experience, but also for you guys uh, as the viewers um, who subscribe and uh, watch this content. So that's something definitely excited for. So if there's, if you have questions regarding something that I've shared, interest that it's piqued your interest on one of the topics of the video series I'm talking about, I'm probably most excited for this new how-to series uh, of videos, um, but I don't want to let the cat out of the bag and someone else take it because I think it's just an epic idea uh, that I had not considered up till now, uh, until my clan leader Doom Beagle talked with me about it uh, a couple days ago. So, as always, if you like the direction of what I'm talking about of the video series of what I'm wanting to do with the YouTube channel, please let me know. If you have positives you'd like to share, negatives, critiques, or just thoughts of something maybe I haven't shared, would love to hear those as well. I'm a pretty open, genuine guy and just wanting to improve players' experience in World of Warships and be a positive source um, with doing these YouTube videos, but also um, in my gaming within World of Warships itself. So, if you liked the video, please leave a like or a dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, leave comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more and very excited for future content uh, to coming out soon so until then take care